Music producers, what's up? And welcome back to another video. It's me, they call me Heat. If this is your first time watching any of my videos on my channel today, I am a music producer of over 15 years. And on my channel here, I show producers how to make some of the best boom bap hip hop style beats. Now in today's video, I am gonna show you that exact effect that I was using in the beat that you heard. Just kind of like that ducking effect on the sample. You know, a lot of producers like Dilla, Stolen Drums, Mad Lib, they did this a lot or do this a lot. Rest in peace to Dilla, he's not around anymore, but there's producers out there that still do it and they have just like that ducking effect on their sample. And I think it's a really dope effect to just keep things fun and you know feeling good in the beat so i'm gonna show you exactly how to achieve that all right so i got this sample by tony avens called it could happen to you um really dope sample let me show you what it sounds like really quick So I'm gonna use that sample today. Um, there's like a section, I was listening to it prior to recording this video and I was like, yo, that would be a good sample right there to work with. So I'm gonna use that. Let me go find some drums. Y'all know I gotta get the, I gotta get the groove going. Let me go find some drums real quick. I like that loop, that's a dope loop. Ah, that's real boom bappy right there. Mom's cooking. All right, it's already time stretched to our time, so we'll just put it on the mixer as well. Now, all we're gonna do is we're gonna get like a pattern going. The pattern just built up real quick over those drums. Let me see how it sounds with the drums. All right, so I do want to put like some reverb on it as well and just some delay too. Just kind of give it a little space, you know? Yeah, I like those little effects. So we got a good groove going as far as the drums. The drums already have good percussion in them, things like that. So I don't really need to go too crazy and adding extra product, but percussion. And then now I've chopped the sample, got a good groove on the sample, but I do want to find like a dope bass. Um, I'm going to filter the bass out just so that I can put my own bass on top of the actual sample without it being interfered. I want to cut it about, I want to still keep a little bit of the body of the sample in there. So 80 Hertz, I'd say. So there's, there's certain notes in the sample that I'm trying to follow and make sure that I kind of keep that same groove and vibe going along with the bass, but still add my own flavor to the bass. Producers, if you're liking what you're hearing right now, I know what you're thinking. Where is he getting these sounds from? Listen, I make custom drum loops, custom samples, custom drum kits, things like that, as well as MIDI kits too. So head over to boombapuniversity.com. That's where all of my custom sounds are. So anything that you hear in my videos, you can get sounds just like that over at Boom Bap University. I don't want you to have whack sounds. I want you to have good sounds. So I'm sharing the good stuff. I'm giving you good stuff. So head over to boombapuniversity.com, grab up some kits, I guarantee you, your beat's gonna start sounding like this. Let's get back to the video. I really like that. So now in order for us to get that ducking effect to where the, it sounds like the sample is being like pushed back, we're gonna have to do what's called side chain. And a lot of DAWs, a lot of programs or other DAWs and programs already kind of have like a side chain effect. 
you know, like the NPC has the mother ducker. I think the Ableton already has like a side chain um, plugin, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But in FL Studio, we just use a limiter. Um, you can use other things as well, but this is just the way that I know how to do it. What you would do is you'd put the limiter, um, we'll go find a fruity limiter. We'll put that on the actual sample itself. Now, every time the drums hit, the sample will duck down. So we have to make the drums trigger the sample, right? Then we go to the kick and we we right click this arrow and we do side chain, side chain to this track. Basically, it's gonna send the signal to that track. So side chain to this track. When you pull the fruity limiter up, it'll already be on limit. I just go to comp and I set the side chain to one and then it basically will turn on the side chain from that effect. Now that we've got that set like that, what happens is every time the kick hits or like the loudest transient in there, what it's gonna do is it's going to bring the sample down and squish it. So I'm gonna exaggerate this effect so that you can kind of hear what I'm talking about. So if you notice in the spaces of the drums where the there's not a lot of volume, the sample is trying to release itself. It's trying to come back in those open spaces. And that's what you essentially what you want. You want that to happen. So every time the kick hits, you want the sample to come right back up. And that's essentially what you can do by setting the knee uh, percentage. So I would say maybe 17, 16%. Now, of course, because this is a drum loop, like I said, there's other elements that are happening. So the compressor or the limiter is registering other sounds, which is causing it to now push the sample down. So we get more of the effect because there's percussion in the background, too. So that's essentially that effect. Now, why would we use that effect? I think that it's dope. It's a dope effect that, like I said, it keeps things exciting. It keeps things fun um, in the beat. And then it allows your drums to have room to speak while your sample's playing as well. So when that kick hits, it gets a chance to express itself and then the sample was pushed back so that the, you know, everything else can kind of express itself and be open and be heard versus everything just on top of each other. Definitely try this effect out. There's a lot of different ways that you can do it. This is just one of the ways, and I would say tinker around with it and see how you can address it and make it you know, sound good to your beat. So remember, whenever you're making a beat and you want to use this effect, you put your sample on the mixer, you put your drums on the mixer. Um, let's say if you wanted to just work on a snare, same rules apply. Any sound that you want this to be applied to, you same rules apply. If you want it to work on a kick, cool. If you want it to work on a snare, so when the snare hits, it ducks, cool. You just do the same thing. So you put your sample on, you put the fruity limiter here, and then you go to your actual sound that you want it to be triggered by, and then you side chain that to the sound that you want to be ducked. So in our case, the sample. So we would go to our kick or our drums here. And we would say, hey, want to side chain it to the sample because I want the sample to duck down when the drums hit. So you right click that um, arrow side, side chain to this track. And once you do that, you're now able to set your side chain input to one. Once you set that to one, you turn your threshold down all the way here, and then you can set the knee amount and things like that. All right, that is the end of the video. And I hope I inspire somebody out there to go create. Keep cooking that boom bap, keep the culture alive, you know what I mean? If you like what you saw, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up as well, letting YouTube know that you like what you saw today, all right? So yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, and until next time, Producers, really quick, really quick, before you go, before you go, I know you just watched this video, but I wanna take things a step further for you. I wanna help you a little bit more. So every single week, I'm doing live beat making sessions on Zoom. So you'll be able to sit with me, it's kinda like you'll be behind my shoulder, you know, watching me make a beat live, literally every single week. And also we'll be doing a live Q and A. So you'll be able to talk to me, ask me questions, anything you wanna know, you'll be able to ask those questions, get those questions answered live on Zoom. And if you miss the session or you won't be able to make the session, that's okay. You can submit the questions and the sessions will be available as a replay for you. So just head over to patreon.com slash they call me heat, become a Boom Bap University alumni and we are gonna take things to the next level for you, all right? Just wanna tell you about that. Appreciate you watching.